Good evening, Madam uh, Chair, Mr. Mayor, and Councillors. My name is Andrea Kiriotis, resident of 290 Pinnacle Trail in Aurora, Ontario. And I come before you to stress concerns about the potential hydro lines being placed in our green space, 18 feet from our property line, which is our backyards. I hope you all had a chance to review the email I sent. Subject line was Pinnacle Trail Hydro One Concerns. I represent the neighbors of Pinnacle Trail that back onto the green space. Around May 23rd, we noticed stakes marked by Hydro One 18 uh, feet from our property line. I spoke with three surveyors on June the 18th, um, saying that the stakes were for uh, hydro poles going up to support Metrolink's Barry Line. Once I heard this, I contacted the offices of Hydro One, the MPP, the MP, and the Town of Aurora looking for answers. Mr. Mayor, you contacted me. Thank you very much for that. Um, Mr. Gallo, we also had a brief meet in regards to this issue, and you showed interest and concerns. I also uh, have been contacted by other councillors um, showing interest and concerns in regards <coughs> to this matter. I have signed petitions from concerned neighbors up in a trail. We are 44 semi homes and two detached homes that run along the hydro corridor. I have also been in contact with other concerned citizens uh, in Aurora that might be affected by this project. Our concerns first and most important is our health. What will the double layer of hydro lines mean to our health and to our children? There is already a hydro tower in the back corridor. We oppose a secondary hydro project in our backyards in green space that the community enjoys using daily. The second concern is the value of our property. What will this project do to the value of our homes? Adding a second layer of hydro lines will surely devalue our properties. Residents on Pinnacle Trail, whose homes back onto the green space, were not notified prior to uh, the staking or even after the staking uh, the Hydro One project for Metrolinks. Once the concerned citizens started making phone calls to the Hydro One Community Relations, the Town of Aurora and the MPPs, and our story also hit the media, then we received a community notice that we are listening. They will explore all possible possible relocations and options. We do not want to wait until it's too late. We need to act now with the help, um, with your help, we need to stop this project from passing. Our yards is not an option. In closing, I am one person with the help and support of my neighbors. We need to stop this project. We oppose this plan and we will fight till the end. However, we need your help and your support. We need your resources and influences to help us to stop this project from passing in our green space. There must be other alternatives, such as non-residential fields, existing towers, and even lines that run along the train tracks. They can run a power source for Metro Links that way. I cannot stress enough that we do not want this project in our yards in green space that our communities use daily there is a soccer field, there's walking paths, and there's even wildlife back there. We need your representation to help us stop Metrolinx and Hydro One from passing this project. Thank you for your time, Mr. Mayor, Councillors and Chair. So what do we need to do now, and where do we go from here? Um, could I first get a motion to um, receive the, the delegation? Mayor Marcus, Councillor Thompson. Um, any questions or comments to the? Thank you for coming. I can understand that would be of concern to you. Do you know? I know that Hydro staked this area. Do you know if Hydro is intending? to do this expansion in your area? From what we understand, they are 
scoping out the area and they have said that they are looking at other options that is only in the preliminary stages but we don't want it to pass in case they say well this is the only option and sorry we are going to run it in your yards so they have not that they have not indefinitely said yes or no they're basically you will let us know once they know what they're going to do then they're going to have a community meeting and they're going to address it to the community and to our neighbors thank you and i can see you've got a lot of support here tonight <coughs> thank you thank you everybody for coming so much for joining us tonight after mr chair um did you have any formal uh, communication back from the hydro company uh, on what their plan is? Was there any written communication? There was no written communication directly to me as of yet, but I have been in contact verbally over the phone um, with, um, one second, I have a name here. Uh, Julia <coughs> Baldessera. So we've been in contact with with her on the phone and she basically said once they have something definite then she will send me an email and let us know what the plan is that she will keep me in the loop and i'm hoping that she sticks by her work yeah no absolutely I, and i understand your concerns as well um so if there's anything we can do uh, to mr chair mr Mills, any concerns that we can relay to the hydro company we absolutely will and uh, see what, what alternative options that they are considering. So I appreciate that contact and uh, Julia Baldazero. Yes. And uh, I mean, just call in well and just see what we can do. Like what are the plans and uh, you know, what, how quickly will they be keeping you in the loop? But I really appreciate your work and the residents continue to do that because that's, that's how we you know, get through these things. So thank you very much for your passion for your neighbors and neighbors working together on this. So. We'll keep an eye on it as well. Thank you. Well, thanks. Thank you, Councillor Gillen. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I echo what Councillor Conference and Styles and ask you uh, similar questions. So I just want to say thank you for bringing it to our attention and keeping us on the loop and letting us know what your concerns are. That's the best way to kind of get us on board and, and um, look at what our options are and talk with Metro Wings and, and Hydro Wings and, and learn what's going on there and we hope to do what's best interest for the community and uh, the neighbors. So thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Appreciate any help that we can get. Thank you, Councillor Kim. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Mrs. Balzero, for uh, taking the time to uh, write us and, and all of you for uh, coming out this evening. Uh, certainly, when we received your email, I think most of us, including myself, it was the first time of hearing this project. Um, and you know, knowing now the history of it, and so far, it is alarming to have an additional set of lines uh, being placed there. Um, you know, hydro. One and Metrolinx is is a uh, entity of the province, so we don't have any direct influence. But certainly, uh, we'll certainly weigh in uh, with our with as much influence as we can, because and this is certainly something of uh, a great issue to to all of you. And certainly, if it was in my neighborhood, it would certainly be an issue for me. Uh, if anything, as you mentioned, the health item. Um, I know that. Uh, a few years ago, we said uh, schools were not our jurisdiction, and, and yet uh, we were able to, uh, uh, with some influence, be able to, uh, or our, our uh, way in, able to, you know, help change that. So, you know, uh, optimistic, or hopefully optimistic, that we can uh, weigh in here. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councillor Thompson. And thank you for being here, raising the concern. It's, a, it's always a bit of a challenge, but it certainly is a big impact to the neighborhood. Uh, but as we've seen in the past with Canada Post, uh, with cell towers, they don't have to abide by the town's uh, municipal laws and zoning regulations. They're above us, and so they just sort of push through on certain projects. Uh, but we've been able in the past to be successful in engaging them and trying to ensure that there's a solution that works for everybody. Uh, so what I've seen from Hydro One is their commitment to work with the community and we'll certainly hold them to it. And, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to come up with a resolution that uh, is acceptable. But at the end of the day, uh, as some of the other councilmen alluded, we don't have final say in it, we'll do what we can. That's all we can ask for. Thank you, Mayor Marks. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Through you, uh, Andrea, thank you very much for coming. Appreciate it. Um, just to let everyone know, I did meet with the representatives from Hydro One today in my office. I did ask for them to come out here this evening. Unfortunately, they declined that invitation. 
um, of course. What I, what I can say is that I, I did uh, relay the message and the concerns of the residents uh, from the area. I also uh, mentioned that uh, you know, I'm in opposition, personally, myself, uh, from uh, these lines being uh, uh, proposed and being put in, in this uh, specific area. Uh, they have shown that willingness to sit down and work with us. They said that it's still in the very early stages, which is what you heard, uh, that they are looking at uh, multiple options. Uh, they still haven't come up with all the options, and once they do, they will sit down with us and have those conversations and see, obviously, what works best, not only for them, but for the community as a whole. So I can assure you and the residents that we, as a council and myself as the mayor, will do whatever we can to to make sure that it is in the best interest of the town and of the residents. So uh, I will keep you and all the residents informed uh, as soon as anything comes up in regards to this issue. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. Thank you, thank you Ms. Karyotis. And, and I think this is one example of why Aurora is so great. <laughs> It really is, and it doesn't happen all that often, but to have uh, an individual in a, in, a, in a neighborhood to come forward and push an issue that's uh, um, important to them, uh, and you've, you've brought it this far, and, and if I have any sense of you, um, you're not gonna sit back and, and let it uh, go by. So congratulations to, to all of you.